Welcome back to Cinema Flix Music Picks. I'm Davey, your host with the most and the beast with the least. The least we can do today, since Network were kind enough to send this nice and early, is to have a look at the super deluxe version of the much anticipated Stingray box set. Um, Stingray, grown up along with Captain Scarlet, was my favourite of the Jerry Anderson shows. Thunderbirds might be the most iconic, but I mean, here's my 1992. Uh, Matchbox Stingray, um, which I've um, kept all these years. It's lost the antenna, unfortunately, so mm, communicating to the surface might be a bit difficult. But you know, the back still spins and it does sometimes still come into the bath with me. I am 36 years old. We love you, Jerry Anderson and Sylvia and all the people involved. Um, so let's crack on, shall we? Because look, it's still in wrap. I've not even, you know, when I said unboxing, I'm going to do an actual unboxing. However, I've, you know, taken all the cardboard off. And, you know, I've made a, I've made a surgeon like incision into the plastic itself. So let's have a look. So, oh, this is nice. This is the, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's got a nice, almost, almost full leather like feel. So it's not plasticky like Supercar and um, Fireball and Joe 90 or the um, Super Mario Nation or Scarlet, uh, Captain Scarlet, uh, original Captain Scarlet box set. And this is kind of, it's very hefty, it's very kind of leathery and, and then it's got gold um, in, the, in the logo. That's, that's lovely. Oh, oh, I could just, End of the video, that's nice enough. Um, I think we'd better crack it open, shall we? Shan't we? Oh. So I believe we start off with the two prints, yes. Loch Ness Monster Cutaway by Graham Bleeden. And there we go, there's Stingray herself. Fighting Nessie. Hopefully not killing Nessie, because she does a lot for tourism up here. God bless you, old girl. Um, so that's our first of our uh, prints that exclusive to this edition. Lovely jublet. And here's the other one, which is by Steve Kate and signed by Steve Kate. Um, and after Peter Archer's original artwork. Um, so Stingray with the crew there. Troy Tempest looking very happy to see us at the top there. That's gorgeous, love that. And then there's Steve's John Hancock. And next up we have the Stingray merchandising album. So what I'll do is I'll levy this because I wouldn't want to shortchange you by not showing you what the contents are. And I don't want to drop my box there. Um, so the merchandising album, hardback, it is, does it have a page count or is it just 50, 64 pages. So we'll just pick some pages at random here, we'll start at the beginning though, it's always nice to do just that. Yeah, so it goes through some of the ancillary toys and memorabilia and sticker albums and whatnot from over the years. Um, I'm looking for my 1992 one. Oh, I mean, there's a Stingray, but it's not my 1992 one. I mean, I know I'm, I'm the, the, the next wave of uh, Jerry Anderson uh, fans because BBC Two in the 1990s started to um, show repeats of all the Anderson shows, well, the main ones didn't do like Secret Service and stuff. But Thunderbird, Scarlet, Stingray were always on. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> I want I want a full set just to oh Let's keep going. I just want to find my one. Oh that's lovely. That is great. So we've got um some from Japan. Um We've got the uh, the terror fish, so. and um, we've got Cap Gun, Lone Star's Cap Gun, 
Stingray the board game. Look, that's a nice, a nice cab. If you want to be a man about town, you can wear that. Oh yes, and I remember seeing these about in the charity auctions and things. The the original puppets. Well, not the original marionettes, the Super Marionation ones. They probably went for a few shekels more. An inflatable stingray. Again, I won't go through the whole bit, but just anything that stands out as being particularly sexy. Oh, lines made ace lollies there. Uh, classic of the uh, um, Jed Anderson world. Chocolate cigarettes. TV21 records, Super 33s. Uh, there's the. Uh God, this is just brilliant. <laughs> look, look, look at the colouring books in Japan and everything. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we end with some more of the, the puppets. The yeah. toys, books, comics, and confectionery, six to four to six to nine. Where's my ninety-two one? That's what I'm wanting to know. Um, I've still got my um, Scarlet SUV as well. Then we get our um, Stingray ITC um, notepads uh, with the script. It's just a kind of information book, like uh, the character bible. You know, about the characters and the plot. Uh, <laughs> Marina, a dumb beauty who really is dumb, but not in the accepted sense of the, world, the word. She's a lovely girl from an under-ocean continent whose race has never learned to speak. A bit like myself. Oh, X-20, of course, the horrible spy, and then Titan, the cruel, vicious leader of Titanica. Uh, the theme, you know, goes into all these kind of details. So it's almost like a press kit. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's all very, you know, it's quite dry, but it's it's fun to read the kind of original way it was phrased. You know, Marina's dumb, but not like most ladies. Am I right, guys? You know, it's very very of its time. Um, Again, okay, with some original artwork here, which is. Oh, that's cool. This is another kind of folds out for promotional purposes, like a standee. Like that. Then Titanicus. So that's, um, oh no, there's one more thing that's included. On. So these that I've shown you so far are only part of the Super Deluxe Edition that sold out pretty pronto, as well as... <laughs> Themes from Stingray by Barry Gray and his orchestra. Um, so of course you've got the... Stingray, Stingray, as I was just alluding to. You've got the Martimus March from the Big Gun episodes. You've got March of the Oyster from Secret of the Giant Oyster. Um, and then, of course, um, the end credits. Marina, Aquamarina, Gary Miller's vocals. Um, and then side two is Jazz from the Wasps, incorporating Blue Pacifica. Um, so it's a nice 45. There we go, and look, it's, on the, it's even got Troy on the, the label there. Lovely job, I like this. This is all... A <laughs> it's Christmas in April, folks. It's Christmas in April. Oh, I know what I'm listening to on repeat tonight. Marina, Uncle Marina, and then I need to stick on the fireball theme to kind of bring me back down. I wish I was. <laughs> That's one thing about those Anderson shows. Boy, did they have theme tunes that were absolutely fantastic. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant. So that's all the exclusive to the um, leather-bound deluxe edition, uh, super deluxe. But inside that, we also get 
the deluxe edition. So everything you've seen exclusive, this is what the deluxe edition looks like on its own. Still very nice and this is in keeping with the other ones. It's that nice matte finish, a bit more plasticky but still looks absolutely great. The um, photo quality has been realised really great on there, it's a lovely print. <sighs> Tension's killing me. Hope it lasts. So what do we start with on this one? Again, we'll use our space to make sure we don't drop anything. Um, Jed Anderson's Stingray Comic Special, 32 pages uh, of stories and features. So this is a um, new exclusive for network. Um, with a repurposed Loch Ness like we saw in the print um, and they've done this before they did this for Fireball as well um, God, when I say they've done this before it sounds like I'm complaining about something it, no it's absolutely wonderful so they they, they do it like um, the photo strips you used to get where they, they add dialogue onto existing stills rather than actually hand draw it which gives it that wonderful retro charm and then you get stories that you can read along with and then mo more uh, even more childish <laughs> uh, strips and then uh, Aqua Antics with Oink Oink being the um, scrappy do of the franchise you would say uh, and it, yeah there's, there's our Loch Ness monster print they're certainly getting value for money out of that why not um, and then Admiral Denver goes on a monster hunt here by the looks of it. But he meets uh, a young Willie Nelson. Stand by for action. Great stuff. I love this to bits. I love this. I love this. The history. The history of Titanica. Mm hmm. Jerry Anderson's worlds make you a child again. Yeah, I love them. Really is um, amazing that the the Anderson stuff has um, not just endured but but um, inspired generation after generation. Um, so this looks to be like like in the uh, XL5 and supercar sets, a kind of memorabilia kit, so I'll be careful as I open here. Um, yep, so we've got a CD of an audio drama, which if it's like the last one should be with some of the big Finnish folks. Yes, written and directed by Nick Briggs, uh, voice of the Daleks and head honcho at Big Finish. Executive produced by Nick Briggs and Jamie Anderson. Recording engineer Benji Clifford, also a Big Finish fame. Sound de designed by Steve Foxen. Um, so yeah, Mark Silk doing Troy Tempest, Wayne Forrester doing Phones and X20. Nick Briggs is doing Commander Shore and Titan. Um, ben Page doing the Aquafibians. So that's nice. Oh, we'll see what I mean about having to watch a memorabilia. Let's see if there's anything interesting about the disc. Um, yeah. TV Twenty One logo and the uh, description. No inner sleeve. Zero stars. No, that, that's cool to have as well. And then some more advertisement things like the sup these are the Super Eight Home Movies covers. Um, again, these have been in one of the previous kits. I think this was in the Fireball set, just describing the Super 8s. And, uh, these were the original covers for them. And then, character merchandise specification set. So shops would be sent that to pick what they want, or you could give them out to customers. And kids would say, I want all of these for Christmas. And, and they'd get a Satsuma and a lump of coal. Uh, Stingray fun book. Well, this definitely requires further, further investigation. Fun book. So Commander Shore gives us an introduction there um, with a Stingray that you can colour in. 
can make it a multicolored stingray. I've always fancied that. Um, some more coloring in and some join the dot action as well. Oh, stickers in the middle. Oh, yes. This is fab. This is just fab. Oh no, a game to play, I'll be playing that later. If only I had friends. Um, next up is the, yeah. Very politically correct these days. Um, sweet cigarette cards. Uh, remember, get your kids interested in smoking at as young an age as possible. Uh, so that's the full set of cigarette cards. Always one lovely card sheet. And what's even cooler, they go to all the bother of having it match perfectly the back as well. So you have the full set front and back. And that's how it would have been in the shops. I mean, this wasn't even that long ago that they stopped making sweet cigarettes to, you know, try and sell the kids because I remember buying them. And then I moved on to some even sweeter cigarettes, if you know what I mean. I'm not even sure no, I mean to be honest. And finally in this part of it we get our uh, just the cover for the colouring books. This is nice, but uh, you know, where's Troy Tempest? I want to see Troy. No Troy and no Marina. Come on. I'd be like doing a Thunderbirds and not having a Tracy. Captain Scarlet, but it's only blue that's all over it. And then, my goodness, has this man not taught all of us who love our retro TV, has he not taught us a million and a half things? The great Andrew Pixley. Oops, he done it again. Andrew Pixley writes, not just a booklet, he writes, a lot of information about Stingray. So if you've read any of his great works, like the um, oh, his wonderful book that came with The Prisoner, um, his stunning books that came with each volume of The Professionals, you know, I mean, look at this. This is a proper book that a Stingray fan would buy anyway. You know, this is just essential stuff. You know, this isn't... I just pack pack in loads of pictures and we'll make it look bigger than it is. This is Andrew Pixley goes deep, deeper than Stingray, um, to to plumb the depths and get the information, the complete story. Surface agent Andrew Pixley, and there we can see <laughs> Marina and the Commander um, reading up themselves. Um, so Adventures in Video Color by the great Andrew Pixley. If anybody knows Andrew Pixley, thank him personally from all of us love a retro TV because he does the Lord's work. And by the Lord I mean Jerry Anderson. There's something missing isn't was that I mean look that's the end of it. Mm, something missing. What's this? A false bottom. It sounds a bit rude doesn't it? A false bottom as before giving us one thing I always look out for, no plastic sleeve on it this time, but it's uh, the Aquanaut license and the identity card for the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Um, so, so Commander Shore um, has given me authority um, to pilot all combat uh, and patrol class submersible and surface vessels of WASP, the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Yeah, that's pretty fab. So uh, I'll be I'll be taking him up on that. That was very nice of him. Thank you very much, Commander. And of course, just like the other sets, when you've got your license, you obviously need your pen so you can you know just display it. And, you know you won't get questioned when you try and come on board a wasp vehicle. And then we come to. Did anybody remember? Sting was actually a TV show. Um. So. <laughs> Here's the set itself, 
Um, so exclusive limited edition deluxe packaging, brand new Stingray comic book, uh, brand new book by Andrew Pixley, ephemera album, Wasp pilot license and badge, brand new CD mini album audio, the reunion party, Japanese feature presentation footage, we're about to launch Stingray. Sylvia Anderson in her own words part 2, part 1 was on one of those. Um, the Stingray Home Movie Show, Give a Show Projector Image Gallery, Lincoln Toy Advert, Des O'Connor Sketch. <laughs> Say no more. Ad Bumpers, French End Titles. Marina, Equa Marina, where do you do it now? Um, I was going a bit more um, Swedish there, I was going a bit um, Greta Garbo, I want to be alone. Um, Century 21 Tech Talk and Image Gallery. And of course, um, the new audio having the new voices because it's newly created, but this of course has Ray Barrett, Robert Easton, David Graham of course, uh, Don Mason and, and Lois Maxwell, Miss Money Penny herself of course. And to open up. As always with Network, they're nice and economical with credits and things, they put them in there. And there's our discs. All the same artwork, but that's fine, because Stingray is such a cool design, I don't mind. Um, and then it's, it's an episode guide on the back. So it tells you what episodes are on what discs, and then describes the special features behind disc 5. So that, my friends, was a look at what you get with the Super Deluxe Stingray box and the regular Deluxe Stingray box which is perfectly deluxe in its own right and a little bit of nostalgia for Davy Boy Stingray, Stingray do, 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 do. Anything can happen in the next 30 minutes but we know exactly what's been happening for the last 22 minutes and that's been me showing you this so I'm off to to listen to my new 45 on repeat all day. Do me a favour. Let's be very careful out there, huh? For me. Love and mercy, my friends, to you and your friends and your family tonight and all nights. Have a good weekend. I'll see you on Sunday for the start of Jimmy Star. That's a wonderful month. Um, but until then, Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. Oh, I'm never signing off for the eagles again. What have I done? Oh, sorry about that. Cheerio now.